when breath in, air enters the nostrils and passes through the nasopharynx and oral pharynx into the trachea and splited to the right and left bronchi, which rebranches into bronchioles, each of which terminates in a cluster of alveoli. When breath out, air flow out from alveoli into bronchioles and redirected to bronchi, air then converged to trachea and passes through the nasopharynx and oropharynx which flow out through nostrils. Other than the listed part, we also have intercostal muscle, rib cage and diaphragm and pulmonary system. And our alveoli is surrounded by blood capillary. In respiration, there are four basic steps, which include pulmonary ventilation or simply, breathing and external respiration. Other than the two steps mentioned, transport of gases and internal respiration also part of the respiration process. When inhale, external intercostal muscle contract and ribcage rises, chest expands and diaphragm contract which causes the volume of thoracic cavity increase and pressure of lungs decrease. Atmospheric pressure is higher than pressure in lungs, airflow into lungs. When exhale, the chest will contracts and diaphragm will expands, which cause the volume of thoracic cavity decrease and pressure of lungs increase. The pressure of lungs is higher than atmospheric pressure. Airflow out from lungs. In our lungs, the concentration of oxygen is high in alveoli and low in blood capillary, which causes the oxygen diffuse from alveoli to blood capillaries follow the concentration gradient. The concentration of carbon dioxide is low in alveoli and height in blood capillary which causes the carbon dioxide diffuse from blood capillaries to alveoli follow the concentration gradient. In our body, carbon dioxide is produced in cell through cellular respiration. So the concentration of carbon dioxide is high in cell and low in blood capillary, which causes the carbon dioxide diffuse from cell to blood capillaries follow the concentration gradient. The concentration of oxygen is low in cell and high in blood capillary, which causes the oxygen diffuse from blood capillaries to cell follow the concentration gradient. In order to have a healthy life, we need a healthy lung. There are few tips to make your lung healthy. First of all, you need to do exercise. Other than that, we have to eat some healthy and lung cleansing food. For example, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower and kale. We should also drink a lot of water so that we could keep our lungs moist to increase efficiency of gas diffusion. To be exact, we should drink at least 8 glass of water in a day. Last but not least, we would need to practice proper hygiene habit. Washing hand before eating would be a good example. There are something that we need to avoid to protect our lung. Such as smoking. Cigarette smoke consists of some carcinogenic chemical which might cause cancer. Smoking would also cause bronchitis. We also need to avoid from exposing ourselves to air pollutants. There are some fine particles such as PM2.5 which is produced from combustion. Especially in the haze produced in forest burning, hazardous chemicals like strong acid, asbestos and etc. would also be substances that we need to be away from. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.